What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will at the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and we are going to take a look at something that JP Skipper, I've been doing a lot of JP Skipper stuff recently, um, he had brought this forth um, a long time ago with the uh, Spirit Rover here and this moving rock and a couple things I've noticed moved in this picture. Now you're gonna. This is very weird. So you're gonna see. I've got four different pictures up. They were taken two days apart. Some of the pictures were. Um, it's like basically they got this whole area where these rocks are um, a little bit at a time. So we're gonna basically we're gonna pull them all up here so you can see them. And the anomaly in question. There's two. There's gonna be well three things that are in question here. We've got this rock which has a slice in it in all four of these. And then in this picture over here, when it's a little bit more to the left, the rover is, the rock slice is gone. Now, you can still see a little bit of it, but it looks like it's been patched up in a weird way. And also, it looks like this has, uh, the front of it has changed some here, its actual thing. Now, and then we've got this guy with this thing here that looks like a head. See this right here? It comes up like a head. We've got him in this rock sitting right here in between these two boulders where he's not here and then also again here where he's not in here where we'd expect him and once again not there where we expect him but here he shows up right here looking totally different direction his face is changed um, he still has the same I'm saying he but it the rock, whatever it is in question there, it still has the same breasted type bone type structures coming off of it. And uh, a lot of people have argued that this is all in the interpretation of where the rover was sitting when it took the picture. Now, I've racked my brain on this thing for four or five years, so if you guys got any more insight to this, you know, let me know. Um, but let me show you really fast where to get these. Check the links below. You're going to have all four linked. Um, but just so that people who don't really feel like checking it can realize that it is here in this picture and it is out there. I don't lie. I always link stuff up. And, you know, my interpretation is mine. I see what I see. You see what you see. And watch comment and we can meet in the middle somewhere if, if we're in, you know, disagreement here. But, okay. So let's really take a good look at these pictures. Now, oh, let me show you the other anomaly real fast. Um, right here is... We see this rock right here. Now let me see if it was in this one. No, that one's here. It is right here. All right. See this rock right here. This guy right here. It's this guy. And then see right here, here, and here. These are these three rocks. Now we've got these two little guys right here and right here. Whatever they are. See one and two. But in this one, this seems to be sticking straight up in the air. See that right there? Sticking straight up. And here we don't have that. It's just a solid ball. So whatever that does has actually brought itself up, it looks like. Um, I don't see how the angle could have changed or mattered in that one. Um, so that was another little interesting anomaly in there. And also the, the, the difference between... Oops, let me undo that arrow. The difference in this rock here, like we said... I'm going to get it big on each one just to show you the different angles of it and how, we, how what we've got to look at it here. Um, where we go? Oops, I'm back on out here. There it is over there on the other side. There it is. And you can tell on this picture the rover's driven a little bit more down towards the side. Um, here in the picture, there still seems to be all that slice but doesn't see how here you can still see where the crack is but it almost looks to be uh, not I think what happened you don't see it as uh, prevalent because as you drive by it you know the angle we're looking at we see more of the uh, inside of this rock where it was cracked but it's interesting how it looks like it's cracked straight down and it looks like it's in half almost like uh, it was had been wrecked somehow in the middle of doing it um, very interesting how that works this is kind of cool how that just lays down there, but I think that's how it would be, you know, the illusion as you're walking away. Um, this crack is still there. You can still see the crack, but we're looking at it at a different angle. So I think that, that takes care of that. Now, that doesn't answer this part here. So, and uh, I can see this. The point that the one guy had here was that as this moves along, what's behind it changes too, which I understand that. See how, uh, you know, we've got all this up here, and we can go look at, Let's get these back to how they were so they all look about the, the same way. Oops, edit. I keep doing that. Sorry that, guys. All right, so let's get this up here, and then we'll get, get them as small as we possibly can, and, uh, well, to get it to fit. So Now, 
it's nowhere in this picture so if it's anywhere in this picture it has to be behind this rock over here now if it's behind that rock over there in each of these pictures and it just happens to show up here on one and then way over here on another one I don't see how that works uh, logically how that's going to work because if you say we're looking at these two rocks right here and we're looking at them at a different angle but it's not that much of a different angle see see here let's look at this one this one this one this one and that one now if the angle had changed so much so dramatically see this little bit right there you can still see it in each one that's right there it's right there in that one and over here it's right here so how could have that have moved from here all the way over to here in that saw? Um, I can't see the rotating just do that. I could see it getting behind in one picture. Okay, okay. well say we move the rover this way and this guy is right here. Let's take a look at this. One rock. Alright, ready? One rock. And then there's this thing right here is missing in this picture. Right there. Or let's see here one rock let me zoom in a little bit on that so we can see it here we go okay so we've got the cracked rock right here on the corner we've got this little bit right here see that little uh, football looking thing see this football thing and these are right next to each other it's lying on that so our anomaly should be right here in that picture now how once again here's that anomaly again the football looking thing it's not right here where'd it go well it's walked over to here what's ever done this you don't seem to be on it that thing couldn't have rolled um, it couldn't have rolled I mean look at look at where we are I mean this thing is in the same the white breasted bottom of it still there um, and it's just had moved over and right here once again we don't see it at all in this whole picture it's not there um, how could that be? Where did it go? Did it, you know, is it just taken off? I'm wondering if this little guy's in a bunch of the other pictures hidden around doing different stuff. So we don't know what life on Mars could or would look like, but I tell you what, if moving is a stipulation for life, uh, we look like we might have something there. This could have moved in the windstorm or something like that. Maybe it's something very light. Maybe there was a windstorm that came and moved it. Um, not sure that very well could have happened um, no, never say never but this does look to, it doesn't look like it's rolled over it looks like it's actually moved its location a little bit and one more time before I get out of here show you guys one more time and uh, like I said I've thought about it thousands of ways I've even drawn out stuff here trying to do different uh, views like get point of line, line of sight and stuff like that and uh, I can get it to hide behind this rock once, but I can't get it to do it for both pictures. I can't make this guy come way over here with just line of sight by where you are. Um, we're too close to, to the exact same positions, and you can tell just by the rocks right around it. Once again, this one right here, this one right here, this guy right here, and this guy right here, and naturally this should be on top of both. It should be here in each one. Um, and he's not and over here he's way over here so if he was way over here and we're gonna use this rock right here as a uh, this white thing right here um, he should be right there this white thing right there he should be right there if we came over we can't see the white thing on that so much love guys this one's a mystery to me the Mars moving mystery I hope you guys can help solve it what is that thing tell me what you think comment below hit like thank you to all the new subscribers you guys rock I love when I get a inbox and all these new subscribers come in I'm only up to 4177 but I went 177 in this last weekend from that news article we did it's amazing what what goes uh, semi-viral on this place and what doesn't so much love guys this is Will at what's up in the sky 37 www.whatsupinthesky.com saying moving Mars